Hackers and general hackers, let's talk Tradecraft. What you see in front of you on the screen right now is Microsoft Excel. It is the most popular database in the world. But more specifically, something interesting is going on under the hood. These days, you don't just install Microsoft Excel on your workstation. You subscribe to Microsoft 365. And from Microsoft 365, you can then access apps like Excel and Word and PowerPoint. Now, this is part of a broader movement to take applications and put them in the cloud. In this case, Microsoft 365 is the cloud service that gives you access to Excel and Word, and all of your work in those applications can then be saved and stored in the cloud and retrieved at an ad hoc basis. But that has some interesting side effects, one of which is the subject for today's video. I want to show you how it's possible to steal cloud authentication access by looking at the process memory of a running desktop office application. Now, this research that I'm about to show you is nothing new or novel. I mean, it's new to me, but it was originally written on by Mr. Docs, who wrote up this fantastic blog post called Stealing Access Tokens from Office Desktop Applications. And I learned about it taking Sintra Trainings, Attacking and Defending Azure and M365 course by Inverse Costs. Now, this video is not sponsored by Inverse Costs or Sintra Training. It's just a phenomenal product, and I'm having a blast learning about all this stuff. So do check out that course if you're interested in learning a little bit more about this stuff. So the general idea here is that the Office suite of software, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, all of these are no longer standalone applications. They all authenticate to M365. You can actually see that up here. I'm logged in with my Husky Works account, which is a testbed Microsoft 365 environment that I have stood up. But you see here that my account is tied into this desktop application. And so if I had any Excel workbooks that are saved into my cloud M365 tenant, they would show up here and I could work on them and they would get automatically pushed up to the cloud. But a kind of unintended side effect of that is that authentication material is now present in the running process memory of, in this case, Excel or Word or many of the other M365 applications. So what if we were able to dump the running process memory of these applications and steal the authentication material inside of them? Well, it turns out we can totally do that. Let me show you how. So in this case, we assume that we have compromised an endpoint and are at the point where we have access to these applications. So think that we've got a C2 beacon here, so maybe Cobalt Strike or Sliver or something like that. And now we need to dump the running process memory and look for the access tokens inside of that process memory. Now to dump the running process memory for these applications, I'm going to use Process Explorer, which is a GUI application that I have installed on my endpoint. But I want to point out that many of the popular C2 frameworks have process dumping capability. So just for the purpose of demonstration, let's take Excel.exe here and let's create a dump and let's make a dump right to the temp directory that I have in my C drive. And now we have dumped out the running process memory from my Excel application. Remember, I'm signed in here with my Husky Works account. Now, next up, as attackers, we would take this dump file and we would move it offline. And of course, I don't have to do that because I'm just demoing this. But imagine that we're now saving that back to our Kali Linux instance or our C2 server or something like that. And the next thing is to look for the access tokens inside of this running process memory. Now, identifying the access token in this case is as simple as running strings against the process dump, but we're looking for some Something specific, a specific identifier. I actually have a little mnemonic device to help you remember this. Maybe some of you out there are blues guitar fans like I am, and if you've ever heard the song Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix, let me share with you. We are going to strings the process dump, and we're looking for a particular pattern here, and that's EYJ0 with a capital J. And so I like to remember that with A hey Joe, where are you going with that access token in your hand? And so we run this against the memory dump, and we get a whole lot of output. So if we look at these strings, these are actually JWTs. They're JOTs. This is authentication material. These authentication tokens allow you to say, hello, I am who I say I am. Please allow me to access the resources that I want to access. Because Excel needs access to your particular files on your particular M365 account. And that's why they're in here. But... If we lift these right out of the process, well, they're now ours. And as attackers, we can now authenticate as that user. Now, the trick here is that not all of these authentication tokens will be useful to us as attackers. Some of them have access and are scoped to resources that we necessarily don't care about. But some of them can be quite useful. And we can check in this JSON Web Tokens parser to see what kind of token that we're actually working with. All we have to do is copy out that token and paste it in here. And it looks like this particular token has access to outlook.office365.com, the API for Outlook. 
that may or may not be useful to us. And so herein lies the attack. We sift through the application's process memory. We look for these JSON web tokens that allow us access to M365 resources, and we try to find ones that will benefit us as attackers. Now, finding a token that has a scope that we can abuse as attackers by hand is going to be very annoying. There's a lot of information in a running process memory dump like this. But luckily, there is a tool that we can use to automate this process. And the tool is Token Finder. Token Finder will run through the office-related processes on an endpoint and dump out any of the interesting tokens that we can find in here. We will run Token Finder against the processes on our machine. It identifies Excel, OneDrive, OneWord, and OneNote, and it will dump out all of the tokens that it finds. And it will only show us the interesting ones that we can leverage as attackers. And it looks like here in tokens.txt, Token Finder has dumped out all of these, and we've now got an extracted token that is useful against the graph API. Well, that's great, but what can we do with this? Well, it turns out we are scoped to be able to read this user's emails. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is as easy as teeing up a curl request with the dash H for headers, authorization, and we will specify the bearer in this case will be the token that we have now extracted. So let's go ahead and grab the full text of this token and we will paste that right here. And we close out the quotation marks, but we also need to specify where we want to send this request. And in this case, I want to read this user's emails. So I'm going to send this to the graph API at https colon slash slash graph dot Microsoft dot com slash v 1.0. And I'm going to say for the user me in this case, present my authentication material and present me with all of my messages. And let's actually dump that out to out.txt. And there we go. And let's go ahead and less out.txt. And it looks like we have successfully dumped out the emails of the huskyworks.mk user. And so we can see like text like this, private to you. Hi, first name unknown, last name unknown. Discover trends in your work habits and in-depth look at your work patterns in the last four weeks. This is the email inbox of this user. And there we go. That's the attack. To recap, if we as the attacker had access to the endpoint where somebody was logged in to an M365 office application, we can then carve into the process, find the access tokens that are inside of that process, and we can steal those access tokens to pretend that we are that user. I like this attack a lot because it represents an emergent trend in tradecraft, which is that when threat actors compromise an endpoint like somebody's desktop and have a C2 agent on that endpoint, they can still find ways to migrate from the on-premise of that company into their cloud resources like M365. And that is a tantalizing target as an attacker to go after their cloud resources. And that's all I got for the video for you today. Shout out again to Inverse Costs and Mr. Docs for their prior work in this field. I'm having a blast learning about all kinds of M365 and Azure attacks and defenses. I will leave the links to Sintra Training and Mr. Docs' original blog post in the description below, as well as the code for Token Finder if you want to play along at home. And that's all I got for you. Take care.